Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So, because it's the end of the year, I'm going to give you my top 10 worst movies that I saw this year, along with five dishonorable mentions. Let's get to this the dishonorable mentions at the start. Uh, at number five for a dishonorable mention... We have Violet Night. So with this movie, I enjoyed the uh, action and the diehard Home Alone kind of uh, feel to it. I also liked David Harper as Santa and John Leguizamo as the villain. I thought both of them were good. What makes this a dishonorable mention, though, is everything else. I thought the secondary storyline, the one even not even involving Santa, was kind of unnecessary and kind of took away from the movie. And also, everybody else acting was very stiff. Uh, number four is Dragon Ball Super. So... As you'll notice from some of these, and I'll tell you this now, not every movie that's on the worst, at least at the top, is actually that bad. It's just I liked movies better. I didn't hate Dragon Ball Super. I am not an anime person, so I agreed to go to this movie with my brother because he wanted to go see it. And while it does have some cool action, it's not one that really stayed with me that much. Number three, and this is actually on a lot of people's top ten worst list, but for me it's a dishonorable mention, and that is Morbius. I thought the story was, was kind of cool, but it just, at times it was just flat and the acting wasn't that great. Number two is Bob's Burgers movie. With this, it's kind of like the anime thing in terms of I know of the show, never saw it, and it to me, it just it had very few, like, laugh out loud moments, and it was just okay in my opinion and that's all I will say <sighs> and number one dishonorable is Interceptor which was on Netflix again cool action great cool story acting wasn't that great and it's just one that wasn't like I wanted more from it and that's all I'll say. Now let's get into the worst movies that I saw this year. Number 10 is on Disney Plus, and that was Chippendale Rescue Rangers. The main reason this is on the worst list is because while I like the cameos that you get, and the story is okay, it was a little too dark and weird for me. Number nine is Spiderhead on Netflix. When you have Chris Hemsworth and Journey Smollett and Miles Teller and directed by the guy that did Top Gun Maverick, you expect more. And it just did not deliver. To me, the best part of this whole movie was Miles Teller. Every, and Journey Small was okay. Everything else was just unwatchable. Right on here is Metal Lords, another Netflix movie. And the main reason this is on here is it is too overdramatic and very formulaic. 
So because of that, it just it didn't really excite me because I kind of knew what was going to happen the whole movie. Darn. Number seven on here is from Disney Plus, and this might shock people. It's turning red. To me, I was n I wanted to watch it because I had heard good things, and I was not a fan at all. It just nothing about it was entertaining, and it was lackluster in my opinion. Number five is Doubt Nabby. We're going back to another thing that we said before, and that is, I know of it in the other in as a show. Never watched anything related to it in the show or in the movie. In the previous movie, either. But, I thought I would go see it with a friend. <sighs> and, to me, my biggest problems with this is that it was a good movie, but good is not good enough. And, it's just too many characters. <sighs> Number four is one of my most disappointing movies of the year, and that is Amsterdam. When you have John David Washington, Margot Robbie, and Christian Bale in a movie, along with people like Robert Downey Jr., uh, uh, Robert De Niro, I almost said the wrong name. It's like, you should expect a great movie, but to me, hold on. The, the main three were the best part of the movie. Every other acting was very stiff and unwatchable. And the biggest problem is the payoff. Like, what you see at the very end of, like, the result or the final ending, it, it lacked in terms of what you wanted to see. And... It just didn't pay off. We're getting down to the bottom three now. Number three. No. Sorry. I even skipped one. I can't believe I skipped it. And maybe that's what it is. It's very forgettable. Even though it's number six, I'll put it still in this range and that is the 355 you have such this talented group of women in an action movie and the chemistry is just so off and the story is not great there were, like the action was okay but not what you expected from this group of actresses okay number three is Jujutsu Kaisen O or Zero another anime movie never had heard of this one and nothing about this movie was entertaining at all I was to be quite honest I was a little bit bored and that's all I'll say. Number two is Firestarter on Peacock. So I'm a Stephen King fan, and I like Zac Efron as an actor. The, okay, those two could mix. And I had heard of the, I had heard of the story before, but I hadn't seen the original movie. But for me, nothing worked in this movie. It was very bland, not good acting at all. It just, what, to me, with this and number one, it was a waste of time. And number one is on Netflix, and that is Blasted, which is a Norwegian sci fi comedy.
There's only one good thing I will say about this movie, and I hate to say it. Everything I wanted in this movie, or everything I thought you were getting, based on how good I had heard this movie was, we got in one two-minute scene. Everything else was bad. The acting, the story, the action. Again, apart from that small little scene, this movie was a huge waste of time. But that is my list of the top 10 worst movies that I've seen this year. Come back tomorrow for my best movies of the year. This is Movie Fanzie signing off. Have a good night.